Namaste, beautiful breathing creators. Brandon here. Hope you're having a great day today. Got my green smoothie. This one's really good tasting. And we're ready to go. So, if you guys have a water, make sure you have water nearby. And also, if you feel like having any props, because some of the side planks you might want to have something to prop yourself up on. But first, we're going to get into this by doing a little bit of breath work to help loosen up our bodies. So, you can just meet me in the seated position. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first we're going to do Kadi Kratasana. Kadi Kratasana is a, um, exhale, a rapid exhale through the nose only on each time that you twist. And you want to tap your chest on the, on the inside. So you're going to do light taps on your chest as you twist and you do rapid exhales through the nose only. So it's just like this. Alright. So we're going to do 15 of these. 15 Kadi Kratasana. In 3, 2, 1. We're doing Caddy Katrasana. We got five more left. Rapid exhales through the nose only on each twist. Three, two, one. Come back to center. Fully in. And exhale, release. All right, now going into this weekend, we're going to actually release something with the chair breath. So think of one thing you would like to get rid of, and you could do this either seated or standing. I'll go ahead and come back here and stand. So we're going to do chair breath. What's well, one thing that you would like to get rid of? Or that you would like to welcome, that you would like to get rid of? So for me, that would be stress and that would be anxiety. So stress and anxiety. You're going to visualize a mystical fire in front of you. And on each rapid exhale through the nose only, you're going to throw away whatever's not serving you into that mystical fire. Chair breath. In three, two, one. Really throw it away. Push out all that negative energy into that fire. We're transmuting it. Really mean it. Five, four, three, two, one. Fully exhale. And now that we just clear some space, what is one thing that you would like to welcome more of into your life? So for me, that one thing would be love. Love. So whatever that one thing is for you, you're going to inhale and reach up and exhale on each time you bring your hands down to your shoulder. Rapid exhales through the nose only. Just like this. Alright. Shoulder breath. In three, two, one. Visualize bringing in that good energy. Five, four, three, two, one. Fully in. Reach up, grab all that energy, squat down a little bit. And now open up into goddess pose. Now take your hands down to your mat. And we're just going to open up our channels here a little bit. So take your right foot and open it up to your to the right. Take your left hand up towards the ceiling. And take your gaze just past your fingertips. Bring your hands down to your mat again. Bring your right foot back to center. Take your left foot and open it up to the left. Take your gaze up to the right. And just look just past your fingertips. Feel that lower back stretch. Feel the energy coming from the left side of your foot all the way to and through you, through your fingertips and out towards the universe. Bring your hand back to your mat. Bring your foot back to center. And now grab the energy off your mat. Take a deep breath in. As you pull this energy up, slowly push it up to and through you, out the top of your head. And now bring the energy back down into you, slowly, on the exhale. 
want to do that one more time take your hands down to your mat take your left your right foot open it up to your right left hand towards the ceiling take your gaze just a little past bring your hand back to your mat bring your foot back to center take your left foot open up to your left right arm towards the ceiling just taking a deep breath in here allowing the energy to just clear to and through us take your hand back down to your mat and now this time we're going to open up send the energy up to and through you again and this time when you bring it down bring it back into goddess pose slowly push out take your toes out towards the outsides we're doing a little cleansing work with some breath work in the beginning now take your feet take them straight take your hands push up like this for, for drinking bird this is drinking bird we're sending your hands have chakras in them we're sending energy up now rocking horse bring your feet out take your arms up towards the ceiling back to drinking bird take your hands up towards the ceiling bring your feet back to parallel hands to your mat now lightly grab the energy off of the mat visualize holding a ball of energy as you're coming up slowly take the energy up through you and now on this next inhale you're inhaling all the goodness all the love all the joy all the freedom and all the abundance right take a deep breath in bring it down into you a couple deep breaths last one pull in In now take your hands to your heart center all right now you can meet me at the top of your mat where I'm going to get into our flow just wanted to bring we just brought in all that good energy we cleared your chakras and we're ready to go meet me at the top of your mat now let's start with an incantation everything I need is within me now Everything I need is within me now. Last one. Everything I need is within me now. Now stand in mountain pose, which is standing with your arms down by your sides. Activate your toes. Take your, your gaze towards the ceiling. And now inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And now we're going to start with Sun Salutation A. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, high plank. Low plank. Inhale, up dog. Take a deep breath here. Bring a smile to your face. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now right here, I want you to do 10 deep breaths, fully in and fully out, as much as you can fully in and fully out. Do it for 10, a count of 10, in 3, 2, 1. Visualize on each breath, bringing in more intuition, more guidance into your third eye. Remember, full breaths in. Completely exhale. Pull in. And exhale. Last one, pull in. And now exhale and push down into up dog. Send your gaze towards the ceiling. We're getting in touch with our breath as we're also flowing through some poses, incorporating a bit of breath work into our asana for today. 
Really get a good upper back stretch, stretch up a little bit more. You can rotate from side to side. If you're like me and you sit at a computer a lot, this is one of the best poses you can do for your lower back. Downward facing dog. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Chair pose. Uttar Katasana. So act like you're sitting in a chair. Dig a little deeper into your thighs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Cobra, you, you could just keep your body on the mat and then just lightly push up with your hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. And take your right foot to the top of your mat for warrior one. Bringing our hands up towards the ceiling. Dig a little deeper into your right knee. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. And exhale, extended side and we'll take your right forearm down to your right knee and create one line of energy with your left hand. You can hold a um, guy in mudra if you want. Warrior two, interlace your hands behind your lower back. Set your gaze towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and fold forward. For humble warrior, allowing ourselves to stay humble throughout our practice. Taking the time out of our day to really get in touch with our body. Make sure you're also getting in touch with your spirit Warrior two, hands to your mat, high plank. Low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Bring the smile. And exhale, downward facing dog. And now real quick, I want you to do 10 more full inhales and four full exhales. Fully into the pineal gland and fully out, cleansing your, your third eye chakra. In three, two, one. Fully in. Exhale. 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 Four more. Fully in. Exhale, three more fully in, exhale, fully in, exhale, last one fully in, squeeze and hold, and on our exhale we're going to go into up dog, and exhale, come into up dog, And now, on our big inhale, I want you to take it all the way back and go into child's pose. And three, two, one. And squeeze and hold in child pose. If you know about bandhas, go ahead and lock down your bandhas. Send it, visualize sending the energy up. You're still holding, still holding your breath. And exhale in the downward facing dog. You might feel a little tingling sensation. You might feel a little tingling in your crown or in your third eye as you were just visualizing sending this energy up. We're going from a very good grounding pose into 
our third eye chakra. We've been going through third eye to, to root and now to crown, shooting the energy up. Downward facing dog. Now pedal out your legs. And for each pedal, just visualize this sending electric energy up your calves and electrifying your whole body with, with divine energy. A white light protecting you. Take your left foot to the top of your mat. Inhale, warrior one. Dig a little deeper into your left top thigh. Exhale, warrior two. Set your drishti just past your fingertips. Now bring your palm facing up. Take your hand back. Take your right arm down to your knee. For peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Take your left forearm down to your right knee. Your right hand just pass and create one line of energy. Coming from your right foot all the way up and to and through your body and out the top, the right fingertips. Just getting back in touch with, with this present moment, with our breath. Warrior two, interlace your hands behind your lower back. Set your gaze towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath. And feel your heart center opening up as you lean forward and hinge forward for humble warrior. This is really good for your cartilage, for your shoulders, loosening up your chest, starting to open up our heart center. Warrior two. And sheer mat, high plank. Low plank. Inhale up dog, hold here, and now I want you to do 15 rapid exhales through the nose only. Breath of fire, or also known as Kati Krit or uh, Kapalabhati. And three, two, one. Rapid exhales through the nose only. And on the exhale, we're going to go down into child's pose. Five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Pull in and up dog. Still holding, squeezing and hold. Visualize center the energy up to your crown. Visualize your head as a balloon. You're squeezing and sending that energy up all the way to and through you. Hold for just a little longer. And exhale down in the chalice pose. Downward facing dog. Hope you guys feel pretty good right now. I know I do. It's, I love doing breath work incorporated with our yoga. Our yoga asana, vinyasa flow. Change it up a little bit. All right, now inhale your right leg towards the ceiling. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale right leg high. Bring your right knee to your left elbow. Right leg high. Bring your right knee to your chin. Right leg high. Bend your right knee over your left. Stack your hip. And come on over into flip dog. You have your left hand on the mat, both feet parallel. Give me a virtual high five. Clearing out our centers. If you can lift a little higher, lift a little higher. Take your right hand down to this, your mat for side plank. Right hand down, left hand towards the ceiling. Set your drift a little bit past. And if you need to place your, if you need to modify, you can take your knee down to your mat. Hold this right here. Now let's do 10 rapid exhales to the nose only. And three, two, one.
three, two, one. And now inhale, bring your left foot towards the front of your mat for crescent lunge. Deep breath in. If you feel that tingling sensation going on, good. Exhale your hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, twist. Take your gaze towards the ceiling. And if you need to modify, take your right hand down to the mat, left hand towards the ceiling. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Hands to your mat, high plank. Low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna build up energy on the other side now. So take your left hand, foot towards the ceiling. Take your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale your left knee to your right elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale your left knee to your chin. Inhale, left leg high. Bend your left hip. And stack it over your right. Come over into flip dog. Other side now. Feel that, feel that opening of your channels as you hold yourself and lift with your hips a little higher. Feel it. You're moving energy. You are energy. You're connecting parts of your body that most people don't ever get in touch with. Lift a little higher. Now take your left hand down to your mat for side plank. Right hand towards the ceiling. And now we're going to do 10 rapid exhales through the nose only. Kalabati in 3, 2, 1. Three, two, one, fully exhale. And on your next inhale, take your right foot to the top of your mat and come up into crescent lunge. Squeezing and holding. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Whew. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. Take your left elbow to your right knee and set your gaze towards the ceiling. If you need to modify, left palm down on your mat, right hand towards the ceiling, gaze just past your fingertips, and just smile. Smile at whatever is above you. Smile at whatever is below you. Smile at everything. And it's your mat, high plank. And now come to the top of your mat with the straight spine. Go ahead and bring yourself up to standing. Back in the mountain pose. Now we're going to set up for dancer's pose. So inhale your right hand towards the ceiling. Grab your left ankle from the outside. And hinge forward. Now we're going to do a balancing breath work challenge here. I want you to do 20 rapid exhales. Rapid exhales through the nose only. In 3, 2, 1. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a full breath in and bring you back to mountain pose. Set your gaze towards the ceiling. And exhale, fold forward. And just holding here with empty lungs. And if you need to balance yourself, you can take your hands down to your mat after doing this breath work. Now inhale, bring in, coming up to standing, but one spine, one spinal bone at a time. Gently coming up to center. Now we're going to inhale our left arm towards the ceiling. Grab your right ankle. And same thing, we're going to kick, hinge forward, hold here, and do 20 rapid exhales through the nose only. 
Kapalabhati, Breath of Fire, in three, two, one. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Rolling in. In mountain pose, taking your gaze towards the ceiling, fully squeezing in. And exhale, fold forward. Allowing ourselves to balance ourselves by putting hands on our mouth with our eyes closed and just visualizing this whole entire process is cleansing you. This is the most cleansing process you've ever experienced. As you breathe and bring the energy in through each pose, through our unique breath work, Asana Vinyasa class. Now take a full breath in, slowly, through your nose, as slow as you can, all the way up, as you visualize bringing this energy up, as you go up, and just, as you're breathing it up, just slowly breathing in through the nose, and now visualize it going through your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat chakra, your third eye, all the way up to your crown. And exhale. Alright, now meet me in downward facing dog. Now just take a little break here. We just we just did some very intense breath work, vinyasa flow. So allow yourself to get grounded. Allow that connection to come back. Come come back to the present moment. Just be here and now. Forget about your to-do list, forget about everything you have to do still. Just be here now. As we move into our heart opening exercises. Come down to high plank. Now we're lower for a count of three, two, one. Now on our stomach, interlace your hands behind your lower back and set up for locust pose. So we're going to create a straight line of energy, lift up from your feet and lift your chin off of the mat. Now your chest and just peel yourself off and feel that lower back stretch. Feel how it's opening up your heart chakra. And if you want to add a little bit more intensity, try to set your gaze towards the ceiling. And exhale, release. Now we're going to set up the floor bow. So grab both of your ankles from the outside, flex your feet towards the ceiling, and push up. Still in contact with our breath. Now we're going to move into Ujjayi breath until we hit our next breath work exercise. So just get in touch with your Ujjayi, which is the oceanic breath. Inhale Ujjayi. Almost like you're fogging up a mirror. Exhale Ujjayi. One more in Ujjayi. And exhale. Release the pose. Meet me on your back. And now we're going to do low bridge. But today, this low bridge is going to be a little different. We're going to be doing full breaths in. In through the nose, out through the nose. So we're going to do 10 breaths all the way in, all the way out, expanding your belly as much as you can and release as much as you can. These are deep, full breaths. So push up and interlace your hands behind your lower back. Just like this. Set your foundation. Make sure you're comfortable because we're going to do 10 breaths like this. In three, two, one. Alkaline breathing. Pull in. Exhale. Pull in. Exhale. Pull in. Exhale. Pull in. Expand your belly. Each time, pushing up a little bit more. Exhale. Releasing a little bit. And then pull in. Exhale. Pull in. 
Exhale. Pull in. Exhale. Two more. And on our last one, you're going to do a deep breath in. Pull in. Exhale. Last one. Pull in. Squeeze and hold. Push up on your hips a little higher. Lock down your perineum. Send the energy up to your crown. And when we exhale, we're just going to release into Shavasana just for a brief moment. In three, two, one. Fully exhale. Let it all go. Now we're going to hold here with empty lungs for 30 seconds. Just really allowing yourself to completely let go. Allowing each one of these rounds to more deeply release what's not serving you and strengthen all the parts of you that brings you the most joy. Still holding here with empty lungs. We'll take our full breath in. In three, two, one. Pull in. Bring a smile to your face. Squeeze and hold. Smile, smile. Imagine putting all the stress, everything, that all the anxieties, everything, just squeeze, squeeze everything. Squeeze your muscles, squeeze, flex your abdominals, squeeze everything. And just visualize with this exhale, you're releasing all that stress. Big exhale in three, two, one. Now bring your breath back to a normal state. As we set up and bring it awareness back to our toes and fingers. And set up for full wheel. Just take your hands back by your head and your feet down by your buttocks. And now we're gonna push up for a count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Come back down to your mat. <sighs> Deep breath in. And exhale. <sighs> All right, set yourself up. And now we're going to do 10 of them deep breaths. So we're going to be set up. And then on the exhale, we're going to push up into full wheel and hold for 10 seconds. So we're going to do 10 deep breaths in three, two, one. Pull in, exhale, pull in, exhale, pull in, exhale, pull in, exhale, five more, pull in, exhale, pull in, exhale, pull in, exhale, last one, pull in, push up into full wheel, and hold. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release. Back to Shavasana again. Just clearing every single energy center that we have. We're completely releasing ourselves from all that's not serving us. Each one of these rounds are tailored to be able to release all the stress, all the fears, all the, the negative programming you've had with each breath in. You're bringing in bliss. You're bringing in abundance. You're bringing in the fresh love that the universe has for you, that God has for you. Because you are that love. All right, now we're going to set up for shoulder stand. So you can bring your feet back down by your buttock, buttocks. And you're going to kick your feet up towards the ceiling and then support your lower back for shoulder stand. In three, two, one. Push up. Support yourself. And now while you hold here, just look right past your toes. And now close your eyes.
Release the pose. Then meet me in downward facing dog. So now we're getting into the gratitude series. We've cultivated through our breath work so much love, so much abundance, so much good vibes is flowing to and through us right now. And now we're going to think of one thing that you're grateful for and just feel that love, feel that joy while you hold this pose right here. Allow this amazing feeling of abundance, of love, to just fill you up completely. Feel that good feeling. And now, I want you to think of one thing that you really want in your life right now. And that one thing, I want you to thank God, thank universe, whatever you believe in, for already supplying you for it. We are not asking, we are thanking. We are showing gratitude throughout this next process. So think of that one thing as you inhale your right leg towards the ceiling. Swing it through for half pigeon. Set your gaze towards the ceiling. Your right foot is backed by your left thigh. Set your gaze towards the ceiling. Just in happiness. And if you really feel, before we go down, go ahead and take your hands to heart center. And just say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you for whatever it is, that one thing. So let's say it's thank you for, for bringing me more love, for bringing me more miracles. So say thank you, God, thank you, universe, for the oneness and the connection. And thank you for already providing me with what I want and what I need. And now bring it down to your mat. You can either come down to your forearms or your forehead, whichever is most comfortable for you. And now while we're in this pose of letting go and, and bringing in that gratitude of the thing that's already accomplished, I want you to set the intention that it, on these next 10 breaths, it's going to release whatever is not serving you and transmute it into that, that bliss, that bliss body. We're now offering it up to God, to our higher power, whatever it is. We're offering up and letting go of all them things that, were, that was not serving us with these 10 breaths. These breaths, just go ahead and breathe all the way in through the mouth and out through the mouth. This is Wim Hof breathing. And three, two, one. Fully in, exhale. And on each breath, you're just allowing yourself to go deeper into this pose. Go at your own pace. Fully in through the mouth, fully exhale out the mouth. Exhale, a drum pace. Last one, fully in. And release completely, come down as low as you can. Go deeper into the pose. And just feel that sense of love, that gratitude. Warrior t or downward facing dog. Come back to downward facing dog. Now we're going to set up for the other side. And just bringing our awareness back to that, that thing that we're grateful for. That feeling state. Feel the love, feel the bliss. Just know that you can always come back to this moment just by focusing on that feeling. Inhale your left leg towards the ceiling and swing it through for half pigeon. Take your right your right heel towards your right thigh. Set your gaze towards the ceiling. Once you set your foundation, if you feel comfortable and your and your back feels happy, you can go ahead and take your hands to your heart center. Set your gaze towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and just visualize. The thing that you are grateful for, the thing that you're that brings you joy. 
and just be here in this present moment of gratitude. An attitude of gratitude will always elevate your latitude. And exhale, come down to your forearms. And now we're going to do 10 more Wim Hof breathing with gratitude. With each inhale and exhale, you're just visualizing, bringing in more gratitude. Exhaling all the things that is not serving you. Bring in more gratitude. Wim Hof breathing. So it's exhales through the mouth and inhales through the mouth. Full, breath, full belly breathing. And allowing yourself to sink deeper into this pose, this hip opener, with each, each inhale. And three, two, one. Wim Hof breathing. Fully in. Exhale. Fully in. Exhale. And now go at your own pace. Fully in and fully out. We're going to go for ten breaths. And just visualize bringing in that gratitude. Building up that energy. Last one, fully in. Feeling that gratitude. Bringing a smile to your face. As you exhale and sink as deep as you can, come down to your forehead. Downward facing dog. Come up and however feels right for you. Now I want you to meet me at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Chair pose. And now gently rock back onto your back. Now inhale your right knee to your right armpit. Exhale and kick your right knee down to the left. Set your gaze to the right for supine twist. And now just releasing any kind of breath work, any kind of breathing you may be doing. If you're still doing the, the ujjayi breath, just release it and just allow yourself to breathe casually and normal. Just feel gratitude as you twist on each inhale. Fully in and twist. Exhale and push a little bit deeper into the pose. Come back to center. Grab both knees. Just give yourself a little hug. Give yourself a little love. Rock side to side. A little hug, a little massage. And just focus on that gratitude, on that love, that feeling state. Feeling is the secret. In life, as long as you feel good, good things always come your way. And release. Inhale your left knee to your left armpit. Give it a little squeeze. Take your right knee, your left knee to the right. Set your gaze to the left. Take your, your gaze just past your fingertips. Just the same. Now we're going to take a deep breath in. And exhale. Push as much as you can. Just twist. Allowing it to fall. Detoxifying our body. Still feeling that gratitude. Everything that you need is within you now. You don't have to chase for anything. We don't chase, we attract. Come back to center. Now release for final Shavasana. Allow your hands to fall open and just be open, open your palms and just visualize right now a ball of light in your left palm. Visualize it growing and growing. And now visualize on your right palm a ball of white light growing and growing. 
Just release even more into the pose. And now visualize this white light floating above you, just sprinkling this white, beautiful, glistening snow over top of you. This snow looking energy that is just giving you and filling you up with all that you need. And release, surrender a little more. Visualizing again that white light just raining healing energy over top of you. Now really quick, go ahead and inhale and bring your hands together. Warm up your hands as if you're trying to just warm up from going outside. Before we fully release, we're going to just do a little healing exercise. Now take your hands apart and just feel and imagine that there's a ball of white light in your hands. Now take a real deep breath in, building up as much energy as you can, just pulling your hands apart, and exhale, pushing your hands together, trying to create that ball of energy, condense it. Now visualize taking this white light, this beautiful energy, and pushing it down into your heart center, charging you up, charging you up full of love, full of light full of everything that you need, full of faith, full of joy, bliss. And now just smile and just inhale this beautiful light. And just know that you're protected, you are loved. And now show gratitude in your mind, with your mind's eye, visualize Somebody that you believe is your, the most beautiful person in the world to you. Maybe that's your mom. Maybe that's your, your dad. Maybe that's your, your significant other. Visualize them in front of you. And visualize them giving you love. Feel that energy, that love coming into your heart. And send that energy right back to them. And just feel that, that love frequency. As it just keeps building up. Now bring your hands back down to your mat, fully open, in Shavasana, and releasing that image, feeling that love still resonating within our heart center. This is your natural state, not the state of fear, not the state of worry, but the state of love, the state of bliss, the state of connection. With the real purpose of life, which is to love. Take a deep breath in and exhale. One more clear breath in and exhale. All right, now meet me. Bring your hands and your awareness back to your fingers and toes. And meet me in happy in seated position. Inhale and gather up all the energy that's around you. Take your hands down to the heart center. Now we're going to chant Aham Prima, which means I am divine light. I am divine love. So you go, Aham Prima, Aham Prima. Come on, go with me. Aham Prima. Feel the resonation within you. Aham Prima. A little bit joyful. Aham Prima. Last one, a little bit quieter. Aham Prima. Gently open your eyes. 
Thank you guys so much for showing up today. I'm going to say one little prayer before we get out of here. I thank, I thank God. I thank Source for everything that I have achieved in my life. I thank you for all the good people I've met. And I thank you for all the blessings you're bringing into all of our lives. I thank you so much for, for giving me this amazing purpose and this journey. And I bless the person that is viewing and listening to this now with abundance and all the love that they need in the healing. This healing process we just took on together, me and the person that is on the other side of this lens, have now absorbed all the great energy and are now free to chase whatever we want to make us happy. And I love you and I thank you all.